Danny Jeffries here with Hero Tractor Precision Ag Group. Uh, we're standing in our soybean devil plot. Uh, Rick's actually there in the field, uh, just finishing up our headlands here, planting our headlands last, uh, using our boundary with headland offsets and enabling section control. Uh, so we're very easily able to do that. Uh, but what I wanted to show you here, uh, we're standing in our strip tilling tube. You can see there's a little bit of green in it. Uh, it was sprayed uh, probably six days ago, round up to pretty uh, kind of burned down thing, getting the, some of this green out of here. Uh, so we should see that go away pretty soon. But uh, So we're standing in uh, where we planted 30 inch row twin beans uh, in our strip tillage. Uh, so the strip tillage was done earlier in April here into uh, the just spring strips this year. Uh, we didn't have time in the fall to do any strips. Um, so just the one pass in the spring. And you can see it did a real nice job. Uh, we had row cleaners on that strip till unit getting a lot of residue out of the way and we see a lot of nice warm soil there uh, giving our soybeans a nice healthy start. Come in here and, and, and roll this afterwards, but uh, overall, really nice system. The strip tillage saved us a lot of time in the spring, um, quickly doing the strips versus uh, cultivating. Um, interesting system that we're excited to learn some more about and how beans react to it. So, we've got the 15 inch row twin beans uh, and 30 inch beans in here as well. Obviously, we didn't plant uh, 15 inch here because we were stripping on 30s. Um, so, generally speaking, you can also see uh, where we chopped our corn stalks here versus where some of the stalks are standing a little taller over there. Uh, we did chop. We have that comparison here as well. Um, so, a lot going on in this demonstration plot in a small little 20 acre field. Uh, but that's part of what we're trying to showcase is some of the things we can do here with uh, the John Deere technology using uh, uh, GPS and, and tracking through documentation and using the operations center. So uh, lots of updates to come, so stay tuned.